Hi everyone! I love to have a mix of fruit and nuts in my fridge that I can keep in a little container and add to a fruit cake, carrot cake or just add into cereals or a little bowl of porridge in the morning. So today I thought I'd share with you my favourite recipe for my own fruit and nut mix. Obviously you can add in anything you like but this is what I do based on things you can easily buy in the store. So here are the ingredients. So the ingredients are a packet of dried mixed fruit. So this has a mix of various fruits in it like um, sultanas, raisins, currants. It has dried mixed peel as well and even some glacé cherries. So I find that the easiest and most economical way to get a nice mix of dried fruit. I then add in some flaked almonds some ground almonds, I add in some extra glacé cherries for colour, some honey, French brandy which I use to marinate the whole mix and my essences I use are almond essence, vanilla essence and rose essence. The spices, mixed spice that you can use any brand that you fancy and I love to add in some stem ginger and I also pour in some of the syrup. So I'm going to show you how I mix all these things together for my fruit and nut mix. Right, so now I've got a lovely big mixing bowl and I'm going to mix all the fruit and nut in and I'll show you how we go and I'll put the proportions in the description box below. So I'm going to put in my lovely mix of fruit here. I'm going to pour in my flaked almonds and my ground almonds. Okay, that's about right for my ground almonds. Then I'm going to add in my chopped up, so this is the stem ginger I showed you in the jar that I'm chopping up into little pieces as well as the glassy cherries. So those are all going into the mix. to give it a little bit of a stir just so things mix up a little bit so those are what you would call the dry ingredients that are going in next I'm going to add in now I'm going to add in some honey so the wet ingredients are going in I'm putting in roughly about a lovely big tablespoon of honey. Okay, I usually add sugar to my cakes as well so then I don't want to add too much of the honey but I do find honey adds a lovely rich flavour to the cake which I love. Another ingredient which I add which you don't have to but I think adds extra flavour is a nice tablespoon or a nice dollop of marmalade just orange marmalade which is delicious in a mix like this add a little bit of citrus flavor now if you're keeping this mix for a long time don't add grated rind of any of the fruits at this stage because that could turn your mix rancid so any fresh fruit um, is not great to add at this stage you can add in the rind or fruit juices at the point when you're baking your cake Next thing we're going to do is add in some mixed spice, about a tablespoon of mixed spice. Again, all these proportions are to your taste. Then we're going to add in some vanilla, about a teaspoon of vanilla extract, about a teaspoon of rose extract, be very careful with this because it is very very strong and you don't want to over flavor your mix and about a teaspoon of the almond extract so now all the ingredients I want are in it's time to give everything a lovely stir make sure everything is nice and combined at this stage it will look a little bit dry but not to worry, we're going to add in the last thing, which is some brandy. 
Now I add in a good dollop of brandy to keep it nice and moist. But you can add in as little or as much as you like. Um, you can use fruit brandy, like a cherry brandy or a liqueur if you like. And you can even use whiskey or any alcohol that you want to marinate your fruit in. At this stage, it literally smells like Christmas. So here is the basis of my lovely fruit marinade, fruit and uh, nut mar uh, mix. I will now put this into a container and store it in the fridge and it'll keep for well over a month and you can use it whenever you like for any recipe or any sweet treat. I hope that was fun and that you try it and enjoy it. See you again soon. Bye!